Hello, my fellow streamers. Today I want to show you the new version of my Audio Wave Visualizer plugin for OBS Studio. Uh, I received a lot of messages uh, that the documentation was not clear enough, so I have updated the documentation to um, press the changes I have recently done to the plugin. So, uh, I will leave the link in in the description of, the, of this video, and here you can see all informations that you need to have the plugin working uh, perfectly. The biggest problem was the installation. So it's very simple. When you download the archive from GitHub, you have the DLL, especially for the Windows. I haven't tested with Mac OS or Linux because I don't have the setup uh, at my place. So you have to move the DLL in your OBS Studio in installation folder, then OBS plugins and 64-bit uh, folder. Just place the DLL, not the entire uh, folder you are downloading. Once you are done, open up OBS Studio. And if it's full install and it's working, you should see the audio wave uh, source under your source doc. And if you click on it, you can rename or leave it as it is. And here we have the first uh, theme, which is the line. Uh, I just posted the new version uh, with the introduction of new theming system that allows me to create all kind of beautiful visual visualizations for any kind of audio source that you can use in OBS Studio. So, I will start with the basic line that also have different styles. So, you can have uh, bars or fill dairy. But just to make the preview work, I will select my mic and audio. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, we already have the uh, audio wave. Another thing that was uh, asked by the users who tried the plugin is if they can move the uh, the source wherever they want. Yes, it's just a basic source that you can uh, move and resize however you want, wherever you want. The width and height you can you see here is mostly for the quality of the waves. So if I set a full height one, I don't know. Let's make it uh, like that. As you can see, it's just uh, it's, it's pretty much the same. However, when you resize, it will keep the quality, so you, you don't have uh, missing particles in uh, in the way. Um, let's move to the bar style. As you can see, we have some beautiful bars here, and to make it look even better, we can mirror the bars and have a nice wave, sound wave, uh, all the way. And of course, we can change the colors, and uh, have different colors for uh, our audio waves. Okay, so this one was just the basic uh, audio wave. Let's just uh, put it there. And let's create another one. And um, for this one, let's check a more advanced audio wave. I will select my microphone. And let's try the let's try the camera frame. It's uh, kind of advanced in my opinion, and may be used in uh, many many areas. Uh, usually, uh, camera frame has uh, 600 or 200 uh, width and height. Okay. Let's place it here so we can see the the reactions. As you can see, as I'm speaking, it's already reacting to the sound. 
let's open up the settings and here we have uh, a lot of settings to be honest here we can change the thickness of this frame and as you can see even the frame itself it's reacting to the sound not only the lightnings outside uh, we can set the inset of the camera frame so we can move it it all depends on uh, on your camera frame here you can also set the dimensions so you can have a full frame or just uh, the corners for the spark count this increases the county the count of uh, i mean the amount of uh, sparkles you will see um, around the frame uh, the length is basically how long will the spark be as you can see i can make it i can make them as long as long as i want uh, let's make it a bit longer and change the color of the sparkle to a bright green uh, also change the color of the frame to a bright green okay now we have a full green uh, frame Okay, and uh, the rest of the settings are just uh, as you prefer. Uh, all these settings are based on your audio source. If you have filters, if you have, uh, I don't know, any other settings in the audio source, uh, you'll have to uh, change everything here, including the amplitude. Curve power only applies to a couple of, uh, of the themes here. Uh, shape density as well. This is mostly for the bars. If I select the bars and change the shape density, you will see uh, I'll have uh, more. I have more bars when I uh, when I talk. Okay, and the amplitude, of course, it's the it's how uh, long the bars will be. So you can leave it lower just to have a simple uh, wave there. Okay, uh, let's go back to our frame. Uh, as you can see, the settings persist based on the selected theme. theme. So you can switch in the same uh, source if you want. To. Okay. Uh, let's reduce this and I want to show you one more theme that I really really enjoy not this one okay and this will be the rounded wobble bars yeah, this, this, this is a kind of funny one okay as you can see it's already reacting uh, let's select the bright green for this one as well because I don't know why I like this color so much and we can also mirror it uh, vertically so we have a nice wobble on uh, both sides okay uh, what makes this different than the line one is that you can change the amount of bars that you want to have in the audio source but uh, if you don't have a good PC, I recommend you just to leave a lower amount. Again, uh, here you can set the decibels where you want the bars to uh, react. So uh, if I reduce to minus 48, then it will only react when the uh, when the sound level reaches uh, minus 48. Uh, same for the silence and uh, so on. Okay, I will just leave it here. And let's create an abstract one. Okay, let's let's choose a storm light and select the microphone and as you can see this is just a 
lightning storm, lightning strike, sorry, supposed to that starts from the center point of the frame. And hit OK, and we already have it working. So, if you want to use them for music production, if you want to use them for a camera frame, you want to make your frame, your camera frame more dynamic, this is the perfect plugin to choose. It's very easy to install. You don't need any extra files, no browser sources. Everything is inside OBS Studio. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and check out my other plugins in OBS forum. See you later.